tax plan just approved by the Indiana House could affect you whether you live there or not. It would increase the taxes for both gas and cigarettes. And the tax break being offered to balance that is not going to help most people in Tri-State. Evan Millward is in Greendale tonight with the plan and why so many are opposed. Lawmakers say they want to raise a billion dollars banking on smokers and drivers to foot the bill for repairs and hoping that you won't mind paying a little bit more when you fill up. Tuesday, Indiana's House passed an ambitious bill to fix crumbling infrastructure. It raises taxes on cigarettes by a dollar a pack. If you're spending $7 a day, that equals about $250 a month. The state's gas tax would go up too by four cents a gallon, but there is a consolation prize. The plan drops the state income tax by 5% over eight years. Backers call it an economic driver, and some say the increase really isn't that big. And it doesn't bother me. I'm sure it bothers other people, but it doesn't bother me. Yeah. There may be a storm ahead for the plan, though. It is under fire from Governor Mike Pence and other conservatives because of the tax hike. I'm not, I'm not for it. And the folks we met in Greendale agreed with the governor. No, I don't smoke, but the gas, uh, once it goes back up, uh, you know, I don't agree with that, raising the tax on gas. Yeah. So, you know, we're paying a pretty good price right now. I hope they don't. I mean, all these casinos that are in the state of Indiana should have to fork over the money for all these roads. So the next time you head toward those casinos, even perfect north, there's a chance you may notice a big jump in prices in the Hoosier state. So this bill now moves on to the Senate. Lawmakers there have their own plan to fund those repairs, backed by the governor using the state's surplus. In Greendale, I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.